our weekly bait demonstration and today very simple I'm not going to show you guys a bait I'm going to show you first things first to use chocker baits going forward it's essential that you know how to clean the chocker um, these are export quality chockers they're hand caught in other words they're not netted your netted chocker you'll have broken skin um, and that is not a, a chocker you want to use for fishing if you find them in the in the shops and they've got broken skin it's not good for bait. You want them hand caught. It's the export quality. This we get from Adcan Marine. And uh, to start off with, you're going to defrost this. You're going to take it out of the packet and you can, you're can going to put it in water, salt water on the beach in your little water bucket to defrost. Once it's defrosted, you obviously want to use all of it. A chocker, if it's defrosted, you can eat it that night when you get home, what's left. But I won't use it again for bait. So you try and use all of that once you've defrosted it. Um, you can pretty much use almost everything except the skin we'll take off. I'll show you all of that. The head we definitely use. Uh, spotted gully sharks love them and bigger cob. Um, several fish will pick it up and you rig it up like a, like a blob bait. But uh, I've already got one in the water here. Just want to see how far that is. Just a tip when it comes to chocker. If you buy a whole bunch, um, and you want to keep them a bit longer what really works for them is putting them in a black bag so that they do not get exposed to any light any light for that matter and that will make them last up to six months in your freezer once they go a bit pink or offish um, once you take the skin off I'm not talking about the pink on the skin once we take the skin off that white piece of chocolate once it goes pink it's better for eating rather eat it yourself Cook some and you put it in milk or, or uh, lemon juice to, to tenderize it a bit and then you cook it whichever way you feel like cooking it. But for bait purposes it needs to be nice and white. So to, to extend the life of chocker if you want to keep it, keep it closed up in a black bag where it can't get exposed to light. Okay well this is the one I had in the water. The skin is broken because of my hand pushing it um, but that's what broken skin will look like if you buy it like that it's not ideal all right but we're going to take this off now the skin and you're asking well if you're going to take the skin off and not use it why is it important that it should have it you can uh, you can take me fishing if i knew but it does make a difference your chocolate will go pink on the netted chocker and that's as simple as that you take the two wings you get your hands underneath there you'll see this chocker is pink already it's demo purpose and that's the pink i'm referring to it's chocker for demo it's already defrosted and uh, i won't be using that as bait now this you can chuck away it's not much you can do with that all right and there you have it you've got the head the chocker head and then the whole chocker tube. The tube is what we use most of the time to do neat little presentable baits and this head as I mentioned earlier you can once we've taken it out you'll push it like this on the sides to loosen it still frozen inside as you can hear and then we just pull it out. You don't have to pull it out you can actually if you're going to use the whole tube like that then you have to pull it out but for the purpose of using it for baits we just cut it, you'll see there's a plastic, called the backbone of the chocker. This little plastic thing is on the front, if you, if you can call it its face, the front of its head, right in line up with that is where that, that little backbone, which is a cartilage. It looks like plastic, you'll see now once I've pulled it out, it's a piece of plastic. You're not going to use this either, you can chuck it. And then you just take all of this out. There you are. And that, like I mentioned earlier, you can use as is. I'm going to wash it off quickly. You can use it as is and zigzag it up onto a hook. This is a fairly big one. 
you can cut it straight down the middle and make two baits of it. So the head pod and the tentacle pods is the last piece you'll put onto your hook. So it forms that big blob bait with the head with these tentacles hanging out the bottom. That works very well. Nothing wrong with using that for a bait. Now, just here, if you open up the tentacles, you'll see the beak. You push it out, you stick your fingers in there and you pull it out. That's the beak. It makes the tentacles curl up if you leave it in. So you pull that out first. These make great eating as well. Then you cut this section off and you just cook the head with the tentacles. You obviously work the eyes out. You cut those eyes out completely. Uh, on the fire and deep fried, both very, very nice. So we're leaving that at that. I chuck the beak. There's some ice in here. Okay, now this is the piece you're gonna use most of the time. And that's the shell, basically. And you'll see on the one side, on the outside, it's a bit tougher than on the inside. The inside is where we do most of the beating with a chocker hammer to get that flavor out. And you hit it on the outside to mush the inside as well. Now this you can cut into the shapes, the tentacles, whatever we're gonna use for the baits forward, but that's how you clean a chocker and this is the piece we'll be using most of the time. Thank you for joining this session and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get notifications on all the videos we upload. We hope you learn from it and get better results.